Dissent always gives rise to suppression of dissent and the events that are happening are but obvious outcomes of expressing dissent. <laughs> There was a complaint made and then an inquiry was set up. However, I do not really believe that the inquiry will be unbiased or the motives were not politically driven. What happened in Jamia and AMU was wrong. Police attacked pointlessly on students. If it's happening there today, it can happen to us tomorrow. Hence, we need to stand united against the current existing authoritative regime. A cousin of mine at Jamia told me how she was rescued by locals via installing a ladder on the backside of the campus. The students were detained and exempted from using the constitutional rights of being a detainee. That is, right to have a medical emergency, right to have lawyer. All this filled a rage. Being filled with remorse, I wish to be in solidarity towards the students. The march was not about Fair's poem, rather about the solidarity of students against police brutality on students of Jamia and AMU. The joke throughout the events is that the institute gave loud voice to those four or five right-wing students who were inciting the students gathered for peaceful march while curbing down the solidarity movement. I personally find setting up an inquiry as pure authoritarian in nature backed by greater powers, which is the government here. My caution to the administration is, what law are students violating if they are putting out their opinion in a peaceful manner? <laughs> 